I have to admit it, I've been bad and I severely neglected this tank. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Zenzo Tazawa Tanks back with another video. Hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> yes, I did neglect this tank. Um, actually, this is a tank uh, that I've shown before in a couple videos uh, quite a while ago. It was called my cave tank. It's actually my daughter's tank. I'm in my daughter's room, so uh, this is not normally one of the tanks that you see on the channel because it's not in a fish room and it's not one of the display tanks downstairs. But a couple of years ago, my, my daughter asked for a tank for her birthday, which was uh, almost two years ago exactly, a little bit more than two years ago. And she wanted a cave theme, and so I set it up for it, and set it up for her, and uh, it was, you know, fun, and and uh, it did okay for a while, but I neglected it. Um, you know, it's upstairs here, it's in her room, and uh, it's just kind of out of the way. Of course, I would come in here and feed the fish and things like that, but I just wasn't really up on maintaining the tank. There was algae everywhere. Uh, it was just a mess and the fish were hiding and it was not a very good setup. So I told her I was going to uh, take it all the way down, take it all apart and uh, change it up a little bit, change the fish and she doesn't care. She just wants it to, to be fun and to be clean. So uh, hopefully she likes the new tank. But anyway, what I did is uh, took a little footage of the before and the after so that you can see what it looked like before and how it looks now. How's it going everyone? Uh, I've been putting this off for a long time. This is my daughter's tank and it's uh, kind of bright in the room right here. So there's a little bit of a glare. So I apologize for that. But um, this is uh, my daughter's tank. You may have seen this in other uh, tours of my aquariums before, um, even though this is her aquarium. And uh, this was uh, or is kind of a cave theme. I made that uh, 3D background and the uh, stalagmites and stalactites. But this tank has been neglected. It's up in her room. Um, of course, I take care of it. I feed it. I do water changes. But there's all kinds of algae. There's blackbeard algae. And there's some stir by corridors and a bed in here. But they kind of hide behind the background. And it just doesn't get a lot of love. So it's time to make a change here. I am going to uh, do a water change. I am going to remove the plants and uh, the decorations in there. I'm gonna remove the 3D background and I'm gonna do some type of planted tank or something like that in here. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I know it's not gonna look like this anymore. Well, that was quick. I uh, drained the water and um, obviously saved quite a bit of good water there. There's the plants, there's uh, the bed is in there. And I actually forgot how many Corydoras I had in this tank. Um, there are seven stirbys, so I'm not quite sure if they're going to show up with the glare. You can see some right there. But uh, there's seven of them in here, so I'm going to leave them in here. And uh, I just figured it was easier just to leave them in the water than trying to catch them and everything since I'm going to quickly uh, scape it and then refill with the some of the tank water, then obviously fresh water like I just did a water change. Well, I'm all done. Um, the water still needs to clear up. Uh, obviously, it's... Uh, kind of cloudy from uh, obviously uh, you know moving everything around and pulling the decorations out but uh, here we just have a little bit of moss on the right and then I put the wood with the Anubias and the Java fern back on I did my best to kind of rub off the blackbeard algae and it comes kind of off pretty easily when you use your fingers so eh, for the most part it's fine I did put a bunch of white cloud minnows in here um, what I'm hoping, and I had these down in my fish room, there's nine of them, but uh, what I'm hoping is the Corydoras will um, become less shy with the white clouds in here because the white clouds will be active and they'll swim around and it'll probably make the Corydoras feel safer. Otherwise, they tend to hide a lot um, because there isn't any fish out and about. So it's still getting settled. It's only been about 20 minutes since I've put everything back together. So... It's going to take a little bit of time for them to uh, relax and for the tank to look better. So uh, I'll maybe take one more shot uh, later in the evening um, once everything's cleared up. As you can see, the uh, tank is cleared up. Everyone's uh, doing well. And uh, what I did notice is um, the stirbys are a lot more active now. Before they were hiding, there wasn't any uh, dither fish or any fish to swim around to uh, make them feel safe. So 
Um, ever since I put these white clouds in here, they've been doing a lot better. They're a lot more active. I see them. And uh, I put this moss in here um, really to just help to uh, suck up the nitrates because obviously Java moss, not Java moss, but Java fern and Anubias, which is uh, back there on top, very slow growing. So um, it was probably not doing well in combating the algae. So the moss will do a lot better and it will also provide some, um, some uh, space for any fry to live and hang out should the uh, white cloud spawn again. And these white clouds have spawned for me several times. So hopefully my daughter will enjoy the tank. Um, I did send her a photo and a little Snapchat video. So uh, she'll uh, get a look at it and, and uh, hopefully she'll enjoy. So that was it. Just a quick little video here to uh, show you that I am human, that I uh, can get lazy and neglect tanks as well, even though I keep 35 or so fish tanks around here. And I also take care of customer tanks as well. You know, sometimes it's not high in the priority list as long as the water is okay as far as the parameters are concerned and the fish were healthy i kind of let it go it was nasty though there was algae everywhere so we changed that it looks good now hopefully you like it hopefully she likes it because she hasn't seen it yet we'll catch you on the next one